I have no idea what I accomplished with this piece of crap, except making a ginormous mess. And that, I did make. But I want to give you a look at this plate. Ah, uh, yeah. It works! So, we're going to pop this thing off and see if we did any good inside that cylinder bore. I, I have my doubts. But you can see that. I, I don't know if this thing is even worth, let me get a light, even worth fooling with. To be honest with you, I seriously have my doubts. I mean, you can see that. That's in rough shape. That's even in rougher shape. Let's pop this off. And let's see if we've done any good whatsoever. Yeah. Holy crap. Look at all the trash. Whoa. Look at all the trash on that. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get this cleaned up. And we'll take a look inside that bore. Ah, this is bad. We, uh, now that we did the electrolysis of vinegar treatment on this sucker, we can clearly see the goings on inside of this bore. Look at there. You see that? Right there. You can see that where that cylinder ate right into that bore liner. Now you can see what happened inside this. And uh, it is rough as a cob in there. This thing's a piece of junk. I do believe so. So, the only chance we got is the hope that A, it's not cracked. We will find that out shortly. But man, that really rubbed. You can see it. Now you can, and it's very rough. It is not smooth. Of course, there's no cross hatch left. So, only hope we got left is that this thing has never been bored, never been modified. That's pretty tight. And uh, we might get lucky here. This sucker's never been bored. So thirty thousands. If we bore it out, which we're going to, if we if it's in the count, ooh, I don't know. Let me look at this one more time here. If I can stretch this out 30 more thousandths, then we got a problem. There it goes. It don't look like it. It looks like we're going to stand pat. Absolutely perfect. Right where that should be. Which is good news. Because 30 thousandths might take care of it. Now, there's no real way to do a a good out around. You can't see the gauge, but it's it's walking. There's so it's so rough. It's going to walk. Let me get the camera over here so you can see the gauge. Now we're walking it on purpose there. It's not too terribly bad. It's rough though. It is not smooth. So we're kind of spinning our wheels here. So that test can't be done right now, comprehensively. He cleaned it good. That is an outstanding technique. Especially to reveal what's really lying beneath. All oh, the vertical score marks. There's two massive ones. You can see them right there. This stupid piece of crap camera focus. Yeah, see them right there. Big score marks. You can see them on this side too. So, you boy. That's not what I wanted to see. I did expect it. So now we know what to do with the rest of these. We're just going to lay the vinegar to it. And, you know, not to do any type of electrolysis. We're just going to do vinegar in this bore, these two bores here. And for about three or four days, see what happens. To see, this is a very solid after block. It was never bored over, so that tells me it was never raced. Maybe. Hopefully it was never raced. It was road hard and put away dry. Not put away wet. All right. I don't know what the next operation is in Magnaflux, so we're going to get that over with. All right. We got the big Parker probe out. Going to Magnaflux, this piece of junk. 
Ah, I think we're screwed just with the cylinder bores. But it is round. It's not out of round. And it doesn't appear to have ever been bored. So we may get lucky with the cylinder bores, but they are in rough shape. We're going to Magnaflux the Valley. Because that's the numero uno place where they uh, they crack. Fords, that is. Now, I don't know how this this big dog lot smelling. Whew, smells like a dog lot. Like a dog box. Went coon hunting. That thing stinks. For some reason. But we're going to use this Parker Contour Probe. And some iron dust. And we're going to do what they commonly call Magnaflux this valley and I don't know how it's going to screw this camera up because that's a big probe but we'll see so that's what we're going to do when we get back alright we're going to Magnaflux this piece of crap now, I don't know let me hit this button on this thing and see if it jacks the camera up eh yeah. it might not yeah. let's put the magic dust on it Uh -oh. You may have game over already. Not sure. One more time. Yeah, I think I was a little stingy with the magic dust. So far, I don't see, I see maybe a couple cracks, but I'm not sure. See some scoring. Surprising. Uh oh. Uh, man, I can't tell if it's a crack or not. See, I thought that was a crack right here. Looks like maybe a crack there, maybe a faint one here. We well, can see nothing catastrophic. I don't see anything conclusive, and that's a strong probe too, so it does it will do the job. I I don't see anything conclusive, not what I would expect to see. Now that has me worried most more than any other place on the block. All right, we're gonna. I, I can't find anything conclusive in the valley that uh, suggests that it is cracked. There's some suspect places. All right, that should be good enough. What do we see? So far, so good. Here's where I would expect to see a crack. <laughs> I don't see one. <laughs> Aha! Is that a crack? Exactly zero cracks. Wow. I figured this looked like the streets of, you know, downtown Louisville. Crackheads everywhere. Apparently not. Okay, great. Alright. 
we're going to conclude with this hunk of junk for today. And what we have, what have we determined with this 1971 351 Windsor block? Uh, it's potentially a big, huge turd hunk of junk. It's not worth my time, but it makes an interesting video. However, it's not been bored. That's a good thing. Okay, it's not out around or not warped or not ate completely up. It's scored to pieces right here, so they've run this thing dry old, they've locked it up. Something's happened, catastrophic or normal wear. I'm dramatic, I can't help it. We know that this this deck at least has no cracks. We could not find any cracks in the obvious places. The valley, we could find no obvious cracks. You know, the whole valley is an obvious place. So good. That's winter, winter chicken dinner. So far. I'm going to deem this block 50-50. 50% salvageable, 50% put it in the front yard, tie a goat to it. But we're going to continue. And then the next installment, we'll magnaflux the other, the other deck. We'll check for the, you know, if this is all nice and straight. It's got to be machined anyways, we know that. But we're still going to do the check. We'll check underneath. And uh, we'll start in on the getting the mains restored. Okay, doing electrolysis with it. So, go get a ball home. <laughs> Ain't going to do no good, but I'm going to do it anyway. And get this cleaned up as best I can before I take it, if I take it to the machine shop, to have it professionally clean. That's an if. And uh, we have other projects we need to get to. i got a, a 22RE Toyota block out there. It needs to be restored for a feller. I need to get started in on it. It's just sitting out there collecting rain, which it's in rough shape. You think this is a rough shape? You should see that sucker. I don't know what good that's going to do, but we're going to do it anyways. So anyways, we're done with this hunk of crap. And uh, we'll be back with the next installment.